Sierra here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I am doing some popsicle soaps for fall. That's right, I thought I was going to be retiring this popsicle mold because summer is over and I'm working on my autumn and winter soaps and I thought I'll just put that away until next summer. And then I thought you can enjoy a popsicle all year round and I had a couple ideas pop up in my head for popsicle soaps. <laughs> and so I'm going to do two different designs in here inspired by different flavors. So there's going to be two scents or two types. Um, first one is going to be a caramel apple and so I'm just going to mix that one up real quick. It's going to be really simple for the, the first part of the design. Second part of the design I've never tried before, but you'll see what that is and if it actually turns out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and mix in my colors here just because I'm not adding anything else to the soap. They're just going to be all one color and one pour and hopefully easy peasy. So I have some red vibrance um, mica in here from Nurture and I'm going to add some really red mica to this. Try and get that really pretty um, caramel apple look to this. So I'll mix that in. I've got my oils here that have been melted down, left at room temperature. There's some coconut milk powder in here, kaolin clay. My lye solution has sodium lactate. It also has some Tussa silk in there. So just mix those two together and we'll get the pouring after. Oh, we gotta add in the fragrance. That's the important part. So I'll mix this up, add the fragrance, and then pour, and that's the easiest, simplest part of this whole soap. So the fragrance I picked out for this is called Candied Apple, and this is by um, Nature's Garden and Candle. And I'm just going to mix that in. It does have 1.2% vanillin in it, and it does discolor a tiny, tiny little bit, like a light tan, but I'm hoping it'll just work with that red, maybe darken it up a little bit, but not turn into a brown soap. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. The notes in this is more than just like candied apple. It's very complex. It has notes of Macintosh apple, orange, Lime, pear, candied violet, greenery, plum, strawberry, vanilla, sugar, and musk. So there is a lot going on to this complex fragrance, but I'm just going to stir it in, wipe down the sides, and then start pouring into my popsicle molds. So far it's really well behaved. It's staying really fluid, which is going to be perfect for getting them into these little crevices here. I'm just going to fill each one of these up. I'll let them sit for 24 hours. I'll pop them in the freezer for like a half hour before I go and push them out. I'll make up the next batch or next flavor that I have in mind. And then once I get that one done, it'll be time to decorate both of these popsicles. One is going to be autumn, which is this one. So an autumn themed caramel apple. And then the other one is going to be Halloween. So I'm going to make a Halloween inspired popsicle. I'm really excited about these. I just started thinking about, you know, popsicles that I, I've had. And even though they were like yogurt pops, they weren't necessarily like popsicle ice cream, um, frozen yogurt. I had some, it was sugar cookie, like a Christmas sugar cookie. I think it was like the Yasso, Yasso brown. I mean, I say Yasso brand. And they had a pumpkin spice and they were like, delicious and if I find them again this year I am definitely buying them and eating them they were really good so just because summer's over does not mean we cannot have popsicles and as always I keep um, a couple ounces set aside to pour into a little mold as samples that I'll cut up so I pour up about I don't know 32 ounces of soap when you really you only need 30 for this mold, but we'll do some samples on the side. All right, a little bit more in there. I'm gonna set the top on here, clean it up a little bit. This guy I think is a little overfilled. Let's see if we can fix that. Let's see if we can make a mess, shall we? I'm gonna give this a little tap and make sure everything's filled in. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to give it a jiggle because that is very fluid. That is a really nice working fragrance. 
go back over and see if anyone needs a little more. This guy isn't quite filled up all the way. Get my rubbing alcohol. That looks good. That. I'm going to put the top on and stick the popsicle sticks in there. So I just pulled these out of the freezer and I'm going to pop a few of them out by pushing at the bottom until they release and then kind of just wiggle them out. Sometimes this happens, but that's okay because I'm just going to smoosh it right back on there. See if I can get them out without doing that. That would be great. Um, I am not done decorating these. The fun part has not begun. I am going to whip up the next batch of popsicles and then in the end I will decorate all of them. That is when the fun begins. Okay, I have set the candy apple popsicles off to the side and I'm going to make up this next batch here. Actually, I'm not even going to use that. I'm going to use a whisk. And I'm going to make layers into this one. So I've tried this once before and I did not record it and it did not go so well. <laughs> so here I am going to record it for you guys and hope that it goes a little better. See if you can guess the theme by the colors that I am going to split this into, into this guy. And again, since they're layers, I want to do them in as even uh, layers as possible. So I'm going to measure and weigh each one of these. I've got some Sunset Orange in this container. This is by Brambleberry. Into this guy, I just have some titanium dioxide. Dispersed in water. And into this final bucket, I have some sunshine yellow mica that is from Nurture. So we'll get that in there. I'm going to whisk that in just to blend in the colors. And I'm going to also, I have separated my line solution into three parts to make this easier to work with as well. Let's mix up the orange, add our lye solution, and I'll just pour the first layer into my popsicle molds and let them sit until it is firm enough to pour in the rest. The fragrance I am using is a blend. I mixed a couple different things together. If you ever have like random scents lying around, you don't know what to do with them, well I've mixed them together. And it's not your traditional candy corn scent, it is a like a very fall kind of spicy, it's got some fruit notes in there, it's just a very complex scent that reminds me of fall. It's got um, blood orange and some honey and orange blossom and amber and strawberries and apples and geraniums and there's some musk and patchouli in there. There are so many fragrances in here. I would be here all day naming them all. But it does smell really good. I promise you it smells delicious. So I'm just going to give this a whirl and get it to a very light trace, add my fragrance and start pouring. Mixed in my fragrance and realized I made a boo-boo. <laughs> In candy corn, it starts off as the layers go orange, yellow, and then white. Just because that's how it looks on a candy corn does not mean that's how it's going to look in a popsicle mold. Because the top of this is actually on the bottom of the mold, and the bottom of it is on the top. And so therefore, I did not take that into account. I am going to pretend I did it on purpose, and that I actually want the orange at the top and the white at the bottom. So I am just going to mix it up a little bit and say that I did it on purpose. All right, so I'm just gonna fill each one of these cavities and then mix up my next color and just kind of layer them on each other.
So to decorate the candy corn popsicles, I have these melt and pour spiders. I made them from a ice cube tray I bought at the dollar store. And so I'm gonna attach them to the front of the popsicles with some clear melt and pour. And then finally, I'm going to decorate these candy apple pops with what's going to look like caramel. I just took some clear melt and pour and added a little bit of golds and browns and some honey blush colors to get that caramel drizzle look. And then I have some leaves, which I just drizzled over there, <laughs> that I'm going to put on the top too. And that is it for these. I think the caramel apple ones are very, very cute, but the candy corn ones are my, hands down my favorite, I think, of the two. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these little leaves on here, maybe like that. I love them. These will be available on the September 27th release, and I think I'm going to have to continue making more popsicles in the theme for each season. A little bit of mountain pour there for my leaf. These were a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. New to the channel, subscribe. Questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day and I will smell you later.